In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how the participant who are actually joining the online classes, what is the step by step method they should follow in order to have a proper, uh, proper class. So I'll be using a Cisco WebEx tool here. Now here are the list of tools which can be used for diff for all our online trainings or, or it can be online meetings or video conferencing or if you want to do some desktop sharing. There are different kinds of applications I have tried already like join meeting, join me, net meeting, team viewer and Skype applications. So finally I had to settle with Cisco WebEx as of now. So I'll be, I'll be showing you a demonstration where uh, all the participants who are joining the online classes, whatever the classes I'm going to take and what exactly they need to do for the first time if they are using the Cisco WebEx tool. So most of the participants may be using this tool for the first time. So I just want to make sure that they are much comfortable even though they are doing the first time. So it's very simple, easy, step by step process. I'm going to show you. I got one XP machine here. Now this machine is going to act as my uh, participant machine and this is the actual machine which I'm going to use. So I'll be the host who is hosting the meeting. So, and then I got a list of participants who are actually participating in the class. Okay, all the students who are going to join the session they are they are referred as a participants here and I'm I, the one who is actually creating the session will be referred as a host here okay so the first step I'm going to do is I'll go to my login my Webex login which I which I already have I'm going to schedule a meeting first so either I can schedule it uh, later on let's say I want to have a meeting maybe tomorrow or one hour later I can do it or I can just have an instant meeting by clicking on meet now. Uh, this is something what uh, I have to do. You have nothing to do with this one. So I'm going to create one meeting, instant meeting, where I'm going to say test online training. So, and I'm going to add the participants who are supposed to join the meeting, the participants or the students who are actually, so I'm going to type the email IDs of the different participants. So as of now, I just have only one. Uh, I can add multiple depending upon the requirement. So the, all the students email IDs I'll be maintaining in my database and I'm going to add them in this list. So once I click on start, the meeting is started now and I just have only one participant. So once I click on this, you can see this is something what happens on my desktop. A similar kind of thing you will also see on the other side of the desktop. So let me just quickly show you the host side so that it can also be useful for your company meetings or if you want to do anything from your side. So first time if you are doing this, it's going to install a software. It will take some time. Now here I got multiple options here. So let me just go back to the client side. That is a participant side machine. This is a participant side machine here. So now what you need to do is as a participant. So this is something what you have to do for the first time, which means uh, whatever the steps uh, I did just now, this is something what done by the host, which means I'll be doing that particular thing. You just need to log in to your email account, whatever the email account you have. I got a Gmail account here and you will, you can see the mail. So join the Cisco WebEx meeting, which is in progress and the name of the meeting that is what we, we wrote test online meeting, which is already in progress. So you just need to click on join button. So once you click on the join button, it is going to open up in a, another browser and probably for the first time it is going to install some software. So you need to type your display name. Let's say I'm going to type my display name as uh, Gauss. So I'm going to type my email ID. So this is the email ID of the participant. And then you just need to say join as a host. So once you click join as a host, your name will be displayed. So now it is going to show you this kind of things, download installation software. Now this is something you have to do for the first time. You have to download and agree. So you must be using some updated version of Google Chrome uh, program probably that will be much better or Internet Explorer. So you need to say always run on this site. And this is something uh, only happens for the first time because it installs a program it will take some time from the next time onwards it automatically loads a little bit much faster than uh, it is doing now I can see it is it is setting up the meeting so now this is what you will see now this is something what you will see here 
now once you log in you will see this window here now here you can see there is option here in the bottom of the taskbar here you can see this is what you will see now you can close that browser it's up to you but you should not close the browser unless you get this window here so i got my window here now this is what the option you will get whether you want to talk to them you need to speak right so you need to talk whether you want to use a, a phone or you want to use a computer audio so i don't have an option with a phone here so you just need to use call using computer so once you click call using computer it is going to test you can test your speakers so so you just need to uh, test your speakers you just need to say yes if you if you're able to hear yes and then microphone there's no microphone detected as of now we just need to click okay because i i didn't connect any microphone over there in my computer so it's okay so you just say call using computer okay so once you uh, do these things probably you must be able to hear the other other voice probably the host here you can see the host even i can change the role of the host to any other so that won't be a problem and now you can minimize this button so anytime we want to make any changes to this you can go to this option in the top audio speaker audio conference or speaker microphone audio test you can do always so as of now these are all options whatever you can see these are all options are disabled because you are not the presenter okay because the presenter is the host now right now the presenter is Sheikh Sikandar who is actually hosting the meeting okay so if you want to drop any message you can probably select select whom you want to drop a message if you have any queries probably you can you can drop your text here if you have any questions so most of the time when the class is going on probably all the participants will be on the mute but once we have a discussion probably you can you can come up with your own questions or you can just uh, drop here some message and here you can see if you click on the participate button participants here you can see the list of participants of all the participants options so you don't have any other options enabled most of the options will be disabled for you because you are just a participant so now from here you can actually see whatever i am doing let us verify let us go to my computer here i am going to my computer i'll minimize it and here you can see the first thing i'll do is i'll share my desktop so once i share my desktop this is my desktop so the host will share the desktop once i share the desktop now the participant also should be able to see the desktop so what i'll do is i'll open up my my white screen whiteboard here now i'll go to the windows xp machine and i'll go to the option here So once I click on the share my desktop option, the participant can see my desktop. They can see what I'm writing. They can see whatever I'm writing on this white screen or whatever I'm typing or whatever, wherever I'm moving the cursor, whichever the window I'm going to open up, the participant can see all the windows. Okay, so even I can disable that feature. So once, as long as the meeting is going on, I'll be sharing my desktop. So you don't need to worry about that even i'll be recording the session so probably once the session is done we can also record so that the recording will be automatically sent to your email i so email i mean i can use some white screens whiteboard where i can also do some writing on the whiteboard or i can use uh, ms paint window so most of the time i'll be using ms paint window so and apart from that if you have any questions you can probably drop a message there is one more option you can also raise hand there is one option called raise hand option you will find on your window Okay, so I, I didn't find that option exactly. So uh, this is how it works. It's, it's really very simple. Uh, whatever I do here, whatever I, I do on my screen, you can probably see each and everything. It's just like a desktop sharing. So that's how the Cisco WebEx is going to work. Okay. 
so probably in case if you have any queries probably you can uh, drop me a mail I'll be online on Google talk probably you can directly uh, have a chat with me even I will be online on Skype so I'll be using the same ID on the Skype as well so in case if you if you find any difficulty in connecting probably you can ping me on on this email or it can be on the Skype so that you can also join me on the Skype uh, you can send me a friend request I can accept and I can we can be online in touch